Well, here we are. This is the Physics 2A video lecture number one. Physics 2A video lecture number one. My name is Carl Rundy, and this first lecture is going to be pretty short. I'm just trying to get something out there. It will be uploaded to my YouTube channel, and uh, I'm going to begin by just talking about the syllabus, which everybody should have received by the time they see this video. And let's see what we have here. Office hours by email. We're going to have lectures by YouTube and office hours by email. Later on in the semester, we'll bring in the Canvas and the uh, Zoom feature as well. Okay, but primarily video lectures in YouTube and office hours by email. So the most important things are, let's just take it in step here. Three video lectures per week will be available at the YouTube channel, Carl Rendy, in the Physics 2A playlist. So I'm gonna start regularly uploading videos and they're there for the rest of the semester for you to watch. And I'm attempting to always post them before the scheduled time of the class. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, eight to nine o'clock. And this is the one that is for Wednesday. There is something about the lab. You must pass the lab in order to pass the course and lab policy will be furnished by the lab instructor. So that's pretty much all out of my hands. You'll be contacted by your lab instructor and at the end of the semester, the lab instructor gives me your score and then I fold it in to your total grade. The text is College Physics by Surway. I'll bring that out here. And we're, we're going through chapters one through 14. So this book I have here has the entire two semesters for Physics 2A and 2B up to chapter 30, but we'll be doing chapters one through 14. So there's our textbook, course material, chapters one through 14. Now here's where it gets interesting, the homework. So for the homework, you will once a week send me pictures of all of your handwritten notes. So I need everything that was on the board that I put there and then some, okay? Written by you by hand and then you take a picture of it with your camera and send it to me uh, by email. And I will note that you've done that and check it off. So that's actually the most important part of the course. Under the current circumstances, it will get you to work steady, you know, at a constant rate. So you're writing down the, all my lecture notes and funny pictures and anything else that's up there. And you're taking notes with a lot of space in between because you can come back and improve those notes. You can rework the notes. You can fill in missing steps of a calculation. You can do all manner of things, okay? So it's really an important feature. I did this last semester, the second half, we did this online uh, teaching as well, and it worked very well. So you'll take really good notes and by the end of the semester you'll have a fantastic accumulation essentially a book that you wrote yourself okay so what you do is you take a picture you can just spread it out on a table take a good clear picture with your phone send me the picture and i'll check that off and that will also include homework assignments that i give you you also take a picture of those and send them in we'll talk about that more as the semester develops just important heads up so what do I have here? Email once a week, every Friday evening. If you send them more often, I'm not gonna reject them, but every Friday, no later than 6 p.m. An important <clears throat> note is always open a new message and a subject line. So you open a new message and you address it to me, K-R-U-N-D-E at csufresno.edu. So you open up a new message and then the title or the subject, not the title, the subject for this class, let's say your name 
and then we'll call it physics 2A. Your name, physics 2A, that'll show up in my email queue and then I'll be able to look at it and check it off. Yeah, definitely um, a new message. Good. So we do that. What else do we have here? There will be starting in September, so we have a few weeks, but starting in September, we'll be doing quizzes twice a week. And I'll send you a 10 minute quiz. It'll be timed. Uh, I'll send it to you via Canvas and uh, it will be timed. It will, yeah, 10 minutes. And it'll be graded automatically. And we'll have a total of maybe 20 of those. The final exam will just be one more and your grade will be built up out of that. So I have here an exam schedule, but really just includes the final exam at the end of the semester. 20% homework, 15% uh, of the lab is the lab. All of those quizzes accumulate up to 65% of the grade. All of these things I'll explain more. I just want to get you guys started and that, this, this short page of the syllabus that everybody is going to have really contains everything you need to know. Everything else you need to know is you look at my lectures and that's when I give you the heads up. All of these videos will contain everything else we need to do. And if it's unclear, we communicate via email and this should work out really nicely. Okay, so that is all I want to say about the syllabus right now because it tells you what to do. Go to the YouTube channel, watch the video. I, I was able to get very high quality on these videos. So you look at them in the best resolution. If you're looking at them on a laptop computer, you can definitely copy everything down that I've written. So that's what I recommend you do. And then you take those notes and at the end of the week, the notes and your homework, you lay them out on a table or you take pictures one at a time, but you get those images to me and then I'll check that off. So that's all we need to know for starters. Watch the videos, take the notes, send them to me. And as the, the semester progresses, we'll figure out everything else we need to know. So you'll always get a good heads up for the quizzes. Um, nothing to worry about. Be confident because this is going to be great. Okay, so without further ado, I'll give you one little problem to work on. And uh, right now, I'm just going to give you a geometry problem, and then I'll tell you what significance it has in the world. Okay? Usually, I actually build this particular problem up, build it up with what it actually means, and then we end up with a geometry problem. So I'm just going to reverse the order. Okay? I'll give you a little simple geometry problem, but it has a lot of significance for physics for geography, for all manner of things. Okay, let's have a look. And this is a homework problem, so that'll be one of those things that you take a picture of and send to me on Friday. So let's just start this homework problem. Like I said, on our next lecture, I'll explain it and solve it for you, but you'll have more fun if you tackle it right away. Okay. So here's a homework problem. Imagine we have a circle, or this could be the cross section of a sphere. We have a circle and we're going to draw a straight line out here. And from the center of the circle to this point, of course, is a radius R. Okay. Next, I'm going to draw a straight line out this way. So, of course, we also have the radius R here, but we also have an arc length S. So, this arc length S, I will draw a little thicker. And now the final line I'm going to draw is a line right here. And these two are parallel, so I'll just say parallel. They're parallel lines, and 
Now I'll put an angle here. And our problem is the following, the homework problem. Given, given S or given theta and S find an expression which is just to say find the radius r, okay? So you have the angle theta and this arc s and given these two quantities using just what you know about geometry find an expression for r. And then I'll tell you why this is a world historic quality problem, okay? If only we were around back when this was first solved, we'd, be, we'd all be famous, okay? But right now we're just gonna solve this geometry problem. I'll explain what it means next time. And I think that is all I have to tell you for today. This is the first video lecture, a very short one. They will be, of course, longer. But even here is something. I've got this problem, I have this problem. I've said some words so you can add Whatever's important to you in your notes, you've got an interesting geometry problem. I'll tell you why it's important to us next time. And so we've done this. And before I let you go, as it were, let's have another quick look at our syllabus. Yeah, let's leave it at this. the homework problem, talked a bit about syllabus, you guys will have this thing printed out if you need to, you can look at it and refer to it, but everything important is just on this one page here. Okay, good, see you guys next time and enjoy, enjoy your entire semester. Okay.